The Adelaide Central Markets have been an integral part of the fabric of this city for well over 150 years. The markets are one of my favourite spots in Adelaide. They're located right in the city centre. And it's also here, just a few steps away, that we find one of Adelaide's newest and coolest hotels. It's the Hotel Indigo, and uh, I'm lucky enough to be staying there tonight. So uh, join me, and we'll go and check it out together. There it is. How close is that? I can't emphasize enough how good the location of this hotel is. In addition to the central markets, you have the Guja Street restaurants and Chinatown right on your doorstop. The Courts and Law Precinct is right next door, and Victoria Square, the geographic centre of the city, only a few steps away. The Central Business District is also close, and the Convention Centre on North Terrace is just three stops away on the free tram from Victoria Square. The Hotel Indigo Adelaide Markets is the very first Indigo Hotel in Australia, and I sat down with the Hotel General Manager, Thomas Zinn, to find out more about the Indigo concept. Hotel Indigo is uh, IHG's um, luxury lifestyle boutique brand. Uh, there's approximately 125 hotels now globally. Indigo is all around the neighborhood story. So uh, not two of the Hotel Indigos are the same. They're all very, very unique uh, in, their, in their build, design and architecture. They uh, reference a lot uh, back to their neighborhood and environment they're built and designed in. Um, and that uh, translates that into uh, the guest experience as well. So as you walk into the entrance of the hotel behind me, you see a replica of the Federal Hall building facade, which is a landmark building of the Adelaide Central Market, which is obviously one of the key themes here in the hotel. If you continue on in our main restaurant market in Meander, from a food concept point of view, for example, the majority of the produce is uh, locally sourced uh, from suppliers at the Central Market or our neighboring regions like the Borough or the McLaren Vale or the Adelaide Hills. Yeah. That same uh, principle is followed in our beverage list. We uh, exclusively cater uh, um, local gins, local wines. We have a collaboration with a brewery in the McLaren Vale and have our own beer. One of the really cool tributes to local culture is the homage paid to Don Dunstan and his famous pink shorts. Don was our Premier during the 1970s and famously wore his pink shorts to Parliament to promote democracy and shake up Conservative Adelaide. As Premier, he turned South Australia into the country's most progressive state. He championed Aboriginal land rights, abolished the death penalty, relaxed drinking and censorship laws, introduced consumer, environmental and heritage protection, decriminalised homosexuality, reformed health and education, appointed the first female judge and turned Adelaide into a world-leading festival of art city. Don's table takes pride of place in the main restaurant. Before we head up to see the rooms, let's have a quick look at the hotel facilities. Up on the mezzanine level, there are some nice quiet spots to relax, as well as a boardroom for hire. I really like the overall design for the public areas, with both the ground and mezzanine levels working well together. Further up, on level four, there is a nice outdoor infinity pool and lounge chairs. The pool is heated to 26 degrees, that's Celsius. The hotel also has a gym or a fitness centre. Not sure what it's for, personally, I've never used one, but uh, for those of you so inclined, you can run and jump and do all sorts of stuff here while looking at the central markets. In addition to the restaurant and bar on the ground floor, the Hotel Indigo also boasts Adelaide's highest rooftop bar, Merrymaker. The colour scheme here is based on the old Festival Plaza, but to me it also has a cool Miami vibe to it. I'll show you the nighttime mode a little bit later on in the video. Love checking into a new hotel. The Hotel Indigo has 145 rooms across three main categories, suites, premium and standard. The premium and standard rooms are the same, it's just the premium ones are located on higher floors. A cool design feature is the festival poster wallpaper above the bed. There are over 40 different designs and the posters influence the colour design of each room. 
Other design highlights include lots of copper, which pays tribute to the state's rich copper mining history. The tessellated tile highlights under the window pay homage to the same tiles which can be found on the verandas of many of Adelaide's historic homes. Even the shape of the luggage rack and workstation is designed to mimic the doglick shape of Market Street where the hotel is located. The rooms are a good size and have lots of natural light. The aircon and heating works well and is easy to control. Sadly, like many modern hotels, the windows in these rooms don't open. Amenities include tea and coffee making facilities and a minibar, which will be stocked once the borders reopen post-COVID. The safe is located in this drawer and a cupboard near the door houses an iron, ironing board, torch, shoehorn and umbrella. The bathrooms are well appointed with copper fixtures and environmentally friendly pump packs rather than individual little bottles of shampoo etc. Both a hairdryer and a set of scales are provided. From a practicality point of view, these rooms do well. Whilst the workstation or desk is not massive, it does have good lighting and a well-placed power point. This practicality also extends to the light switches, so there is no late night frustration trying to work out how to turn off the lights. And I was impressed to see that the power points next to the bed included both USB and USB-C sockets, as well as wireless charging through the clock radio. I also managed to poke my head into one of the suites. They have the same decor as the standard guest rooms, but with much more space. This corner suite came with its own balcony. By now it was time to put on my fancy shirt and head back up to Merrymaker for some early evening fun. The platters up here are sensational and the espresso martinis hit the spot. We've come down for uh, for dinner. I'm on the McLaren Vale Shiraz. And I'm on a slightly peated twisty. Cheers. Cheers. This took a great night. The staff upstairs have told me that Italian-born head chef Gabriele Pesamenti really takes his pasta seriously. I therefore had to give it a go. Julie, who was still full from the wonderful cheese up on that platter, went with the entree size of the roasted eggplant. Both dishes were excellent and this dinner was a lovely way to round off the evening. After a good night's sleep, the next morning we were back downstairs for more food. Breakfast was sensational. I had the avocado on toast and Julie the Adelaide Hills mushrooms. Neither of us could resist ordering a serve of the homemade crumpet. It was delicious. At this stage, I also need to mention the hotel staff. Without exception, they were all really nice. They are genuinely interested in ensuring you enjoy your stay and happy to share their local knowledge. They're a real credit to the hotel. So that was the Hotel Indigo. If you're coming to Adelaide, definitely put it on your list and I'd uh, highly recommend it. If you're a local and you want a uh, indulgent night out, certainly come and stay here as well. Or uh, at the very least, come and check out the restaurant. They're open for lunch uh, and breakfast and dinner, uh, as well as that wonderful rooftop bar. Look, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and check out my channels. There's a whole lot more uh, on the way, both airline reviews and, uh, and hotel reviews and, and general travel videos. Again, thanks for watching and uh, until next time, happy travels. See ya.